Well, we got what we came for. Carl Borman has the passports. It's a good night's work. I think we can relax a little. Unless, of course, you'd rather spend the time with, uh... <laughs> you know, I'm actually not a reality TV fan myself. So. Really? Yeah. Seem like the type. She really loves it. <laughs> She's lucky. She's premium product. So, she gets treated with a degree of humanity. Some of the others who maybe aren't so beautiful. It's human trafficking for the purpose of sexual slavery. That's why she's so happy to be watching TV. All right. Now, how about you tell me what's bothering you? <sighs> well, there is a situation, but I can't really talk about it. Come on, who can you talk to if not me? A girl you have absolutely no ties to. Probably never see me again. Have you ever killed someone? Have you? Did I make a mistake not spending the holidays with someone that I... Someone that you what? <gasps> no, 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 wait. What were you gonna say? Is it finally time? Is she gonna say it? Say what? The thing you didn't say to Ryan? I got it. Now we can steam. This Vermeer vanished from the Gardner Museum into thin air. Forget pending and active, they should call these pending impossible. Each idea I have has already been thought of and dismissed by every not an agent assigned to this case. Nuh-uh, do not open that case again. Mm. She's drunk dialing Ryan. Redialing Ryan? The last time he didn't answer my phone. Because he's doing what you asked. He's staying away. Don't obsess. Why coming from the girl who hasn't stopped refreshing her boyfriend's Instagram pictures? For, what are you doing? Downloading X-Shield. It's an app that blocks your number for outgoing calls. It's how I get my ex to pick up so I can check on Renata. Welcome to the 21st century. Call your pending and active. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. But speaker, speaker. Okay. the truck overturned spilling its load of gasoline into Gotham's Nature Park. The GCPD is warning all citizens to remain clear of the air. Causing gas to leak into the water supply, which then ignited, setting fire to the resident's kitchen, which set off a 24-acre blaze. Wayne Enterprises can't get... Now there's no reason to ever be alone in this city again. The Sirens Club is back. With a passion. Ladies drink for free while... someone else with you to see that. <laughs> Owen, Caroline, Caroline. Hey, honey. Hey, Ed. So the treehouse is really coming along. Yeah, and the girls are really excited about it. Yeah. And when I say girls, I do mean Andy. <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're going to the Bahamas! <laughs> Just you and me, we leave in three weeks. Four incredible days at Paradise Island. Honey, what are you talking about? We can't do that. I mean, I got my work, you got your kids. <laughs> hey, it's all taken care of. Dana's gonna take care of the kids and Andy's gonna cover for you at work. But we can't afford a vacation. Honey, honey, I got a great <clears throat> deal. Great? Off-season, midweek, layover, timeshare, and the milk. <laughs> what about the airfare? I told them we were going to a funeral. They're taking off 50%. <laughs> Honey, do you realize that we haven't been alone since 
Ruby was born? I know. Well, I guess it could be fun. I mean, you know, I've never really seen those coconut bras except for in pictures. <laughs> You really want to know? No, I just enjoy nagging you. Really, Seth. How bad can it be? No, 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 dog, 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 oh. No, dog, don't bother the angry lady. Uh, hey, sorry. Dog? That's what you're calling him? Uh. Well, it's accurate. Is Dog taking his antibiotics? Uh, yes, he is. He's doing much better. Thank you. You know, um, I have to say, um, I've seen a lot of stitches in my time, and you've got really good hands. Thank you. So you think I'm creepy? I think it's creepy you buy all your clothing at army surplus. White supremacists do that. Yeah, but I'm not. Drifting serial killers do that. Fair enough. You come from nowhere, you appear to be going nowhere, and you've, quote, seen a lot of stitches. It's all pretty solid creepy. You have no idea where you're going either, do you? No. Not really. And that's because you have no one. I mean, at all, right? I mean, that's why you're here in this place. <laughs> I used to have someone, I mean, but that's over now. It's gone. Maru, will you please not argue? I need your help. I'm utterly destroyed. Don't tell me. You broke up with Jeff. No, just the opposite. I still have his ring. And this destroys you? I should have such destruction. <laughs> I don't understand, LaRue. Of course, it's wonderful having his ring, but suddenly driving home, it hit me that I'm all this younger than he is. He found out you're only 15 and a half? Oh, no, I'm still 16 to him. <laughs> the point is, he'll be going back to Princeton next week. And going steady may be fine for him at his age, but it just doesn't seem right that I should sit around for the whole year and die on the vine. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't be fair to him. I mean, what man, when he gets married, wants to have as a wife some unsophisticated dodo who's never been around and met people or anything? I guess you got a problem. What are you going to do about it? I'm not sure yet. I've got to do some heavy thinking. Honey. Just a minute. I've got to hang up, visit from the parent. Talk to you tomorrow. Hello, darling. <laughs> What'd he say? He said no. Oh, come on, LaRue, just no. Just like that, no. He's your cousin. Gidget, I'm doing my eye exercises. <laughs> so do them over there. You don't use weights. And call me back, I won't budge. I guess it's some kind of a sin to say that your best friend is dense. But there are times when I think it's more than LaRue's eyes that need exercise. It's her whole head. Although you may have gained seven to 10 pounds, the fetus weighs in at five ounces. So most of that weight is you. <laughs> okay, stop reading that. No, no, it's fascinating. Feeling him move was like my wake-up call. It's real now. Hi, baby. <laughs> it's daddy. Talk to the baby, Cheyenne. It says it helps you connect. Man, I'm pretty much plugged in already. Hey, do you think he's hungry? Maybe he'd like a yogurt, a piece of fruit. Mm, a banana sounds good. No, 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 I'll 
get it. You stay here. I want to do whatever I can to help the baby. Really? Well, you know what else would be nice? A foot massage. I mean, for the baby. You think so? Mm -hmm. It relaxes me. And if I'm relaxed, so is he. Makes sense. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm, that feels so good. The baby is so loving, this man. Mm. Oh, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Why does this sound so familiar? I can't believe someone took the smelly feet place. Well, try to look on the bright side. Maybe tomorrow we'll find a place that smells like armpits.